Hi, I'm Heather Tyson for Don McGill Toyota of Katy and CarPro. Today we're driving the 2015 Toyota Prius 4. Inside you get leather trim. I should say it's leather-like trim. Toyota calls it this soft tech fabric and essentially they use that because it's more environmentally friendly to make than leather. Now one thing I've noticed is the technology seems a little outdated. The Prius hasn't had a full redesign in over three years. So it doesn't seem quite as easy to use or as clear as the newer Toyota versions. The center console's a little awkward. It can feel tight for some people. The storage space isn't that big. And then they have what they call this kind of flying buttress look down here, which you have some extra space, but it's awkward to use. Also the dash, probably a little outdated. I mean, it's simple, it's easy, it's utilitarian. It's nothing much to look at in the way of dashboards, but the Prius isn't known for being fancy. One thing that's cool and a little bit futuristic is the touch tracer display. What that means is when you use your steering wheel mounted controls, a display pops up in front of you. So you can change your temperature, change your audio settings, you can see your driving stats all up here in the center display, which means you can use those features, keep your eyes on the road. When it comes to cargo space, there's 21.6 cubic feet behind the back seats, which amounts to four suitcases in our suitcase test. There is also a small hidden compartment underneath to hide your valuables. When you need more space, there's a 60-40 split fold seat that you can fold down, which will give you 40 cubic feet or nearly doubling your cargo space. If you've never driven a hybrid before, it might take a little getting used to. It's got kind of like a golf cart feel with uh, acceleration when you're at slow speeds. But this new one has a 1.8 liter four cylinder. It got upgraded and it does give you a little bit more torque. There are three different drive modes you can choose from. You have EV mode for battery power only. You have the echo mode to maximize your fuel efficiency and the power mode to give you a little bit more power. The echo mode is basically for up to a mile, very low speeds. The power mode is great if you are getting on the highway and you need a little extra boost. Essentially, even if you never use any of those buttons to play with the fuel efficiency and the power, the vehicle's rated at 50 miles to the gallon and most people are gonna see somewhere in the ballpark of that combined. Finally, one concern people have when they're first buying a hybrid is the life of the battery. The warranty for the battery, the standard one, is eight year, 100,000 miles. And in some states, that's gonna be automatically extended to 10 years or 150,000 miles. So hopefully that'll give people a little bit more peace of mind if purchasing a Prius for the first time. And let's face it, the Prius has been out for 15 years. Toyota knows what they're doing with this car. The name Prius has become synonymous with hybrid. The drawbacks I see of this vehicle are the outdated technology, the boring dash, the awkward design of the center console, and for some people, the visibility is gonna be a challenge. But it's still a very reliable vehicle. It gets amazing gas mileage. You get a lot of versatility when it comes to the space, all at a decent price. So overall, I'm gonna give the 2015 Toyota Prius a solid four out of five stars. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Heather Tyson. See you next time.